All right, guys, here's part two. Rizlon versus Marvel Mystery Oil. I wanted to show you what this oil looked like. Um, as you can see, that is green. Um, the Rizlon has totally changed the color of the oil there. I'll go ahead and finish pouring this in and I'll show you what it looks like on the dipstick and what it looks like on a paper towel. Alright guys, here's the dipstick. I'm going to see if I can try to do this with one hand. Um, I let the engine run for a few minutes so that everything would be mixed together. Um, the oil looks pretty clear. Um, let me try to set this down here. I don't know how well this is going to work. Yeah, this is not going to work. I'm going to just wipe it and show you. Hold on. We'll give it two wipes so it'll show up well on the dipstick. But anyway, here's two. Um, oil looks pretty clear. Looks pretty normal. You know, when I poured it, it was green. But I guess that maybe just had a greenish tint to it and the way the light was hitting it. Once it's in the engine, I guess mixed with everything else that was left, you know, it's not green anymore. It's, it's a pretty normal color, but what we'll do is we'll check in every week you know this is saturday we'll check in every saturday and we will see what happens with the oil on the dipstick i guess i'll show you the mileage this car does have more miles than it looks like it has let's see i just reset the maintenance light there you go, 156,000 miles. So we'll check in once a week. And we'll take recordings of the dipstick and whatnot to see just if this Rizlon does anything. And like I said, I'm running two bottles of it when the instructions say to run one bottle. Okay, so it should be pretty potent. If it's going to do anything, it will do it here. And this car doesn't have low mileage or anything, so if there's anything to clean out, it should be cleaning it. Their website does say you can run two bottles in extremely dirty engines, um, but the bottle doesn't say that. You have to go on the website to find those instructions. And it says for it says something like for severely dirty engines, run two bottles and change after 100 miles so we'll check back in in a week and see what's going on all right guys there's just an update for you as you can see or i don't know if you can see that or not but we have gone 11 miles that's 11.8 um and this does seem to be running smoother um you know, to me, I, I don't know if it's a placebo effect or not. It does seem to be running smoother. Um, the engine seems to be quieter. I don't know if it's already done some cleaning, maybe in VVT solenoids or something like this. Uh, but it does seem to be running quieter and smoother. It, it, it feels more powerful as well. You know, I, push on the accelerator I get some good power coming from it so I don't know we'll keep it updated but this is just a quick update all right here we are back again with the Riz loan got cops driving by Um, 
we're back with the Riz loan. Seems to be running smooth. Same as last night, no update. No changes so far from what I can tell. Um, like I, I would say that it is running quieter. Like I mentioned last night, um, it does, the engine so, does seem to be quieter and smoother. The only thing I will say is that, of course, um, we're getting close to 6,000 miles on that last oil change. Um, and this is brand new oil, so there will be a difference just from that. So, we'll check the dipstick when I get to work. It is 7.36 a.m. And when I get to work, I will check the dipstick and see if we've gotten any color change. Um, according to the mileage, you can see how far we've gone. Not very far. I accidentally reset my trip meter last night, so there's a there's a 20 miles or so that isn't on here. You can see it's back at 11.4. Um, so we should be somewhere between 30 and 40 miles on this. We'll check and see if it's done anything so far. All right, one thing I keep forgetting to mention is that before I used this Rizlon, whenever I would come to a stop like I am now, as you can see, the car is running. And I'm in drive. You would get th things like this, like this empty cup, and you're you can put your hand here. You could feel the car vibrating. You could, you know, you'd be annoyed by water bottles or cups like this that would be rattling around. Not extremely, but it would just be enough to annoying tap. You know what I mean? And you could put your hand on this and you could feel vibrations. You can barely tell the car is running right now. And as you can see, it is. So, whatever, something I have done has smoothed idle out on this car. Um, I'll just show you the mileage real quick. As you can see, but anyway, yeah, just a quick update.